Nationals right-hander Josiah Gray has looked tremendous in his six starts so far this season, most recently beating the Pirates and the Mets. Jojo Gray joining me now from Nationals Park. And Josiah, it's great to see you. I always appreciate having the opportunity to talk to you. And your manager, Davey Martinez, said that you're really starting to find out who you are and do what you want to do. What do you think he meant by that? Uh, I think he just means controlling the game a little bit better. You know, I've shown flashes over the past few years, but this year, you know, just putting a couple stretches of uh, starts together that, you know, are just a lot more consistent, a lot more in the strike zone, and just giving the team a chance to win. And he says that you really finding out who you are. How long do you think it took you to do that, Josiah, at this level? Uh, it took me a while, you know, 2021, making my debut that rookie year, dealing with, you know, the major trade. That was a, it was a tough year. And then last year, uh, being my full year, uh, finished it out healthy. But, you know, there were a lot of ups and downs. So uh, being able to get, you know, a, a good start to this year here, 2023, uh, has been really good. And I just look forward to keeping it going and, and keeping the team in the game and, and just doing this over, uh, you know, the course of five months, five more months. And and you continue to expand the repertoire. When I knew you first, it was the slider, it was the four seamer, it was the curveball. But apparently, you wanted to add that cutter into the mix. Why? Uh, just to neutralize lefties a little bit more. Uh, while I still throw it to righties, you know, for lefties uh, and seeing their damage against me last year, it was a lot of out over the plate. So throwing the cutter, uh, just giving them a pitch they have to respect on the inside part of the plate with good velocity and just, uh, you know, being able to induce a little bit more soft contact. And it's been really successful so far. So just looking forward to see what we do uh, with it throughout the year. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about this club. Obviously, in a rebuilding mode, I never worry too much about Mike Rizzo and the Washington Nationals. I know you guys will get to where you want to be, but what has been your assessment so far, Josiah, of the first six weeks of the season? We're playing a lot of fun baseball. You know, we're in a lot more games compared to last year. You know, we have a lot of uh, close games. It comes down to the wire, and we're still in it. You know, we have a lot of games where, you know, we go up early, our pitching is, is holding us down. So it's been a lot of fun just seeing everyone improve. The defense is much improved. Uh, you know, we're getting a lot more timely hitting, and it's been a lot of fun to just go out there and win games and, you know, surprise some people because, you know, that's what we're here to do. And, you know, when we look at the end of the year, I think we're going to surprise a lot of people with where we are in the standings. And I really like that you are kind of coming into your own and having success, Josiah, in your own way because you have been involved in two massive trades. So you have to think about the fact, well, if I'm being sent because of these other big names, they must think very highly of me. Of course, when you came to the Dodgers, or from the Dodgers, rather, it was obviously because of Matt Kemp and Yasiel Puig in terms of that trade. And then you get traded again for Max Scherzer and Trey Turner. So those are four huge names and you're in the mix of all of that. What goes through your head when, when that's happening to you? Yeah, I mean, it makes you feel good because, you, you know, you're included in some trades with some big leaguers, but it does come with lofty expectations and, and you know, a high uh, ceiling that you want to meet. So, um, you know, I've shown I could I could be the pitcher I want to be and the pitcher, um, you know, the Nationals want me to be in flashes. But, you know, this year I just want to keep it, keep it going, keep the stretch going. But, yeah, I mean, it comes with a lot of, uh, you know, fanfare. So I just want to go out there and, and make a name for myself and, and prove the Nationals right. Yeah, you're doing that. Next scheduled start for you is against Arizona on Saturday. Before I let you go, Josiah, I love the fact that you're still taking courses to finish your degree while you're a big league pitcher. Why? Uh, for me, it was just honestly, uh, when I went to school, Lemoyne College, you know, I went there obviously to play a little bit of baseball, but getting my degree was the main thing. So um, I know I owed that to myself once I got drafted. So um, every year, you know, I've taken a few classes just to continue the, the course load. And, you know, this year, 2023 will be my last year. So I'm excited to, you know, be done with that and, and kind of cross that off the accomplishments. <laughs> but um, just being able to say I have my degree, you know, is, is going to be something really fun to, fun to say and, and show off to, you know, friends and family. Yeah, business management and leadership. I think you just have a few electives left. Uh, what's been the most difficult course so far? Yeah, I've taken a bunch of religion classes just because of, you know, the way our, our degree is structured. It's very holistic and just the way uh, they want you to take courses. So uh, the religion courses are just a lot more reading uh, compared to like a business <laughs> management course. So uh, having to put my face in the book, uh, it takes a little bit of motivation, but, you know, you still got to get it done. So it's been a lot of fun just being able to, um, you know, take a step back and, and just take some courses while, you know, playing baseball. 
All right, make sure you're studying up on the Arizona uh, position players as well, Josiah Gray, your next start. We appreciate you coming Absolutely. on High Heat so much. Uh, continued success to you. I always appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on.